Overcoming shy girl energy in the gym. I am moving so slow. There is absolutely no reason why I should not be at the gym right now. It's because I don't want to go. I don't want to do it. But it's like week two. I'm supposed to hit back today, cardio, and really I just want to go for the sauna. But I'm like, if we do back 45 minutes, sit your butt in the sauna. It's not that deep. We could have had it done already, but we're procrastinating. So I was like, oh, well, if I make some tea, finish watching this girl's video on YouTube, I'll get up and I'll shower. So I was like running the water, waiting for it to get hot. And I look in the mirror and I'm like, wait, you see that back? We're going to go to the gym. So I was my own motivation. And I am wearing everybody's brand mixed together today i did eat some of that trader joe's beef and broccoli I actually cooked the whole thing i had a small portion because i don't really have breakfast foods here so i'm already hungry that was like eight in the morning okay but i'm wearing this bra from buff bunny it's like my back day bra because hello yeah it just makes me feel good when i wear it paired with the og amplify and titanium and then I'm going to wear this black Gymshark hoodie because I feel like black and gray is a really cute neutral. I was going to wear these green emerald leggings today, but then I like pulled out my, <laughs> look at this, my gym bag. And I was like, girl, I look like I'm an AKA. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I just wasn't feeling the bright colors. So, and also I'm like procrastinating. I just need to get out the house at this point. And tell me how I was at Trader Joe's in the last vlog and I was like talking about, oh, I need to get Hawaiian rolls. Why did I forget to get the Hawaiian rolls? So I don't have like my little sandwiches. So I might have to run to Trader's on the way home from the gym. And I was like, okay, well, we'll go to the gym and then we can run those errands on the way back. It's just been a mess. But this is a cute little outfit and when i was doing my heavy lifts yesterday i feel it in my hammies today and i know it's gonna get worse tomorrow so we need to be working on active recovery in that aspect and that's why i like my split because i don't really work out on the weekends unless maybe i'm like super busy monday through friday and i have to like not go to the gym because i need to do work stuff then we can like take that weekend day and supplement whatever workout we're skipping like i almost told myself today we're not gonna do upper body we'll just do it saturday or sunday that mindset that way of thinking got me in the position that i was in where i was skipping every freaking workout because i was like oh i'll go tomorrow tomorrow came two months came three months came i wasn't at the gym so i was like get up and stop that so yeah, we have to catch ourselves in those moments when we feel like we really want to procrastinate or oh, I'll do it later because you're really not, you could have been had it done. So I love that basically every other day is the legs and it'll give me time to like chill and recover. I might do legs back to back one day depending on what muscle group I'm hitting. Like if I'm doing quad day, I typically can just do glutes the next day if I wanted to because my glutes aren't really going to be sore. So it just depends on what muscle groups I'm working out and then I can take a break, do upper body, boom, lower body, boom, upper body, boom, whatever. And it's great. So it works out for me and my body goals and I felt really good yesterday. Like I was starting to feel super lean, especially in like the core area and that's amazing because that means that me implementing cardio into my workouts is exactly what i needed to do just to kind of get some extra calories burned and get some steps in more movement throughout the days and then by the end of the week boom it just adds up even more i don't have a set day for abs but i'm thinking because i can do it at home myself throw in some abs on the weekend and I like to do it fasted because I don't like a bunch of food in my system. Because I was trying to think about how I can do abs. And now that I think about it, I don't think my gym really has ab machines. I need to go look around today. I have never seen, like, an ab machine. Like, even, like, that thing that you, like, 
elevate on and like you lift your legs up i don't i've never seen that in the gym so maybe i'll ask at the front desk um mostly i'll see people doing ab stuff on the turf area and i just don't want to be doing all that i can do it at home on a mat so i think that's going to be my plan this week i'll try that out and do like abs and or like core and cardio because i can do cardio in my close gym but anyway i am further procrastinating and i just need to get out the house because if i don't i'm really not going to go so almost left without my apple watch and my phone is like dead it's on 60 percent so hopefully i get some juice um i just need to like meditate i don't know i've been so scatterbrained i did post some content this morning so i haven't been like doing nothing but i'm like maybe like i i don't know i don't know i need some oxy shark clearly i need to focus <laughs> the house i ate a blessed protein bar because i needed something i don't want to get lightheaded i don't know next to leg day back day is definitely my favorite so i don't even know why i was trying to play with myself this morning especially after looking at some of my muscles i do feel like i have an imbalance like my left side is just so much weaker than my right side so if you have imbalances whether it's in your glutes if you feel like one side of your body takes over try doing like single arm exercises like a lot of exercises have different variations so i'm gonna focus on that i think today i'm gonna hop on the cables i did film my back workout routine in the gym for beginners uh, a lot of lats exercises in there i don't mean to do a lot i do want to incorporate like pull-ups my shoulders are boulders I don't want to do a lot, that's the thing, with my upper body for it to look toned, being that this is week two, first upper body session of the week, and I'm still feeling like I'm not squishy like I was last week. Oh, sir, too little too much. Once the oxy shred, you can be speeding, you can be alert, but I feel like it takes less time, less weight <laughs> for me to notice a difference in my upper body when it comes to looking toned and seeing muscle definition but that's just my genetics everybody's genetics are different so god bless if you are the opposite where you see a lot of growth instantly in like your glutes for example but i'm definitely looking forward to the gym sexy red let me tell you that was the song i used for my reel get it sexy so good that will be on repeat <laughs> I love listening to female rappers like Nicki Minaj, I love Lotto, Dream Doll. Y'all remember when she was on Bad Girls Club? I can't believe it because her music is really good. I listen to her. I have a whole playlist of just like female artists, like Girls Night Out type of vibes. So it's on my Spotify, which is linked down below if you guys need gym music. I have a gym playlist with like the peach emoji. Don't listen to it unless you like heavy trap EDM bass and then like rap like Waka Flocka. It's a mix of that um, that I shuffle through. <laughs> so everybody's music taste is different and I would love to know what you guys like to listen to when you guys work out. Put me on to like your favorite song right now. I think Get It Sexy is definitely the mood of the week. At least for today, I can say. So I'm gonna pay attention to the road. And I should be at the gym in like 30 minutes. And I just have a few errands to run after the gym. Hopefully I'm not too crusty after the sauna. And we have food at home. Because I cooked beef yesterday. I ordered stuff from Gymshark. Why are they still doing the friends and family sale up to 60% off? But they added new items. I could not say no. <laughs> I really couldn't say no. So I just fit that into my little budget. I will be going to the grocery store for a minute and I haven't been eating out so I saved a lot of money on that but girl the men's section it got me it got me one of my favorite Gymshark athletes because I'm not an athlete for Gymshark I'm an affiliate so they gave me a code but it would be such a dream to be an athlete for them I was just so motivated after watching all of the Lift Miami vlogs 
and I was watching Court's videos. She doesn't have a lot, but she is my favorite six Court. I feel like her personality is a personality I would get along with, and girl, her style is my style. So she had posted some pieces. I even got like Gymshark undies, and she said that she loved them, so I picked those up, and I got like, I'll show you guys when they come in. I have like three orders coming from them. It's a lot, but it was on sale. It was the savings for me, okay? And y'all already know I have my code, so I was like, oh, extra savings, yes. And they were things I would have probably purchased anyway, so why not get them on sale? That was my mindset. But maybe I'll pop up the pictures here of what I ordered in case they are still on sale, but I did order something from Selfridges, which I think is a store, like a department store in the UK. Why was the shipping $35? They did a little um, exclusive collaboration with them, so they had pieces on there that they don't sell on the regular Gymshark website, and the joggers were cute. I was like, oh, I would wear that for sure, like with some cute sneakers outside of the gym or for the gym. So I just copped a pair. Excuse me, the oxygen makes me burp, you guys. So spring wardrobe in full effect. I really need to get on it and declutter my activewear. And I have a pile of stuff and a mental note of things that I know I can't fit anymore or things that I want to replace or things that I just have never worn, will never wear. That'll be my project this week. I really don't want to do it, but I need to make space. <laughs> I'm on my third year of like my gym Ooh, journey. So things I bought in 2020 that were like size small don't fit me anymore because I've just put on probably like 30 pounds. I need to weigh myself, honestly, but a lot of muscle mass in my quads and my legs that the fabric will just stretch. You know how thin the materials are for Amplify and stuff? When it stretches, it gets a little bit more sheer. So things like that that I just don't wear because I don't plan on getting any smaller. I really don't. But then again, you never know. A body's gonna body no matter what. It's gonna fluctuate. I'm not naturally this built. I'm naturally skinny. So I guess I could hold on to some things, but then I'm like, mm, am I really gonna wear it though? I just love my OG Amplify. Like I'm wearing titanium today, but I know Fireside, Ivy, what's that other green? Ivy, Fireside, Rainfall. Those colors are too small on me now. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to sell them. <laughs> They're so beautiful. But I don't know. I haven't even tried them on in like probably a year since I filmed my Amplify collection video. Y'all, I'm speeding. Push a little bit to the gym. It's the Oxy Shred. Y'all, don't drink Oxy Shred and drive. Because. <laughs> And I was in front of two cops too, like pushing over the speed limit by five. And I did not care because obviously it's, <laughs> it's a problem. It's not. I love it. I feel really good because I was very just like low energy and now I'm like ready to go. I'm his favorite. <laughs> I turned into somebody I don't even know when I have oxytrin. I'm ready to go. Okay, so about upper body, y'all can let me know too. This is a little pre-gym talk. Do y'all turn into a whole nother person when you hit upper body as a lady? Because I just turn into beast mode instantly. If the music is right, I'm tapped into it and I'm just, I'm feeling every muscle. I'm looking at myself in the mirror trying to flex after every set. <laughs> it is a mess, but I love that for me because I don't know, that's probably why I like back day. It just makes me feel very strong in a space that is very manly, like dominant. And it used to be so afraid of like the dumbbell section, which I still don't really do dumbbells because I don't focus on biceps and triceps. And I don't really care that much. I feel like they're fine. I'm really happy with the way that they look. So I don't really do all that, but maybe one day I will. But I used to be so intimidated because I, again, like my last vlog, I kept saying like, oh, I used to think I don't belong in this space, but like, why? Because you definitely do, no matter what you look like, if you're a man, if you're a woman, if you're a little thick, you know, if you're too skinny in your mind, like, who cares? You're there showing up, putting in the work. You deserve to be there like everybody else. So, 
I'm just gonna tap into a beast mode today and I'm gonna enjoy my workout. I don't have anything else to do today. I got all my videos posted and except for those errands. But again, I'm not in a rush. And when I don't have to rush my workouts, they're the best. Cursey. Cause I wanna see what it would sound like, right? Can't tame, you can tell, but I tell that the dog, but the motherfucking beast on the scale. Work hard, get scarred from the leash that I broke. Light bar, not far from the reach of the choke, but I'm reaching the totes. Got heat that'll bleach in your coat. Shit, my knees are keys to the rose. Peace to the hoes, peace to the pie, but the peace still grows. Get top on the phone. That's what they say, right? Yeah, get top. Watch out for the red dot when you're popping and wanna set shots of a guy. Mm, ready for anything. Just to my balance and ready for anything. I'm showing everything and get it by any means. I'm not one to start shit. Crabs in a bucket, I'm sending butt shots to the back of the barrel. My passion's apparently packing the crack to the pass in the back of the stairwell. Get a hazmat for the tendencies. This not Jay and Nas rap, nah. This not Don rap, nah. This ready for combat. Soldier and boss that be leading the charge. Who? Who do we know with this many flows and really put soul in the shit? I seen a little jokes and manicured toes and really some hoes in the bitch. I know when it comes to the hunger, I'm fucking that buffet up. No jumper, 22 steaks on the plate, no fluffer. Tupperware packed in the back from my brother. Everyone eats around here, right? Yeah, everyone eats. I've been on top of my shit. Walk with a brick. Debo come now, he walk with a limp. When them zeros come, put a comma on it. Comma and comma and comma again. Period. Why you so serious? I got a myriad of flows. Are you fucking delirious? My name's Kersey. Not Cersei, not Kersey, none of those. Kersey, get it right. Conscious. I vlogged guys I am slowly getting out of my shy girl energy in the upper body area let's talk about that let's talk about overcoming shy girl energy in the gym because there was a cluster of guys by the assisted pull-up machine which I wanted to use I've used it before at my old gym in my community and I don't know that one was a little bit different because I know the heavier that you put it 
typically the easier it is to assist you with pulling up that one was already set to 100 so i was like okay like i was doing 100 on the one that i did private prior i was gonna say previously and i could not pull myself up and i was feeling low-key super shy like dang i don't really know what i'm doing these guys are over here chatting they do not care they do not care why is it so bright oh shoot hold on sorry i changed my settings in the gym because it's so dark um i was just in my head and i was like girl stop it slight work don't even worry about feeling like you're gonna embarrass yourself like let's take it easy slow it down and figure this out so i put the weight on i think it was like 65 and that was like pretty challenging so i did the next set 50 something and that was really good that was like the sweet spot for me and i figured it out and like i didn't feel embarrassed i actually ended up feeling very strong after that because that was an exercise and a piece of equipment that i don't typically use so any tips that i have to share is go slow with it if you are in a busy gym and maybe there's a machine that you've never done you don't know how to adjust it you don't know how to situate yourself on it or even how to use it just quietly like observe the gym don't be creepy don't have that resting bee face but just like observe other people utilizing it so you have a little bit of an idea on how to use it every gym has slightly different equipment so it might be a little bit different than what you see on like youtube tutorials so i feel like quietly observing a machine that you are interested in using for the first time is definitely the way to go sometimes when the oxy shred is really hitting and you know it really does be boosting my mood i will feel like ballsy enough to like approach someone and be like hey you know how to use this you know and i feel like getting out of that shy girl energy starts with opening up your mouth and just complimenting somebody saying hello and goodbye to the people at the front desk because i notice for me like when i'm comfortable speaking i kind of loosen up and i i feel more comfortable in the space of being in the gym around a lot of people because it feels home it feels comforting it feels like a place that i am familiar with that i enjoy going to so those little things really do help you break out of that gym shyness and for me i don't really get shy in the leg area like i feel like i just really kind of know what i'm doing for the most part there are some exercises that you know i'm a little bit scared of yeah but we're working on that it's really mostly like the upper body area that i'm like oof but it's funny because on the other end of that like i was feeling very strong today i was feeling like my muscles on my back were kind of popping when i was looking back at some footage because of course i can't really see what i look like when i'm working out and that really helped me get out of my shyness it kind of brought this confidence over me and i'm not gonna say oh i'm in myself i'm conceited but it is okay to be in that mindset sometimes like you should be proud especially knowing like where you've come from and a lot of you girls are telling me that you work out from home and you just got a gym membership and you're a little bit shy too and i feel like once you go for me it took me like two weeks to kind of get adjusted and i felt like comfortable don't give up just keep going and sometimes it's just a mental thing of like don't be a little bitch that's why i tell myself all the time like you can do it girl like let's go slight work it's not a big deal and i feel like i get in my head so much sometimes that i'm worried about things that don't even exist so i'm just creating this shyness and this anxiety the gym anxiety around things that really aren't even problems i'm making them up so try to get out of your head and go into it with like a positive outlook and i feel like that'll definitely change the way that you feel when trying new things and even just going to a gym for the first time and even trying to make gym friends and just speaking to people and making it really feel like a comfortable home type of energy so those are just some tips that i have for you girls and then i think the biggest tip is to go in with a plan so you're not sitting around thinking well i don't really know what to do write down a list of a couple of exercises that you want to do for that day that way you can like scope out the gym and figure out where those pieces of equipment are and you know kind of figure out how many sets and reps you want to do you want to do cardio that day whatever so you can kind of just have a game plan there's so many upper body machines like i was looking around like where is the assisted pull-up machine they move stuff around all the time and i was looking like a lost puppy but you know what i didn't really care <laughs> so sometimes you just gotta have that i don't give an f attitude with it and if you don't 
fake it till you make it baby because the gains were definitely worth it and today i feel like i challenge myself in the gym so i have a solid back and shoulders workout routine now and i did lateral raises i didn't get a chance to record it because it's kind of awkward positioning in the gym um the only thing i have not done is like finding the shoulder press machine there is one where you load on the plates but the last time i used it with kalila i couldn't get it up it was like 10 pounds i was like oh my god this is so hard so we're gonna work on that next and implement that into the back and shoulders day and then i think i'll do like cardio and core for my next like upper body day or whatever but i did 25 minutes of cardio 20 minutes in the sauna and a solid upper body session burned 504 calories so i hit my goal today and it says 99 minutes of activity so we're feeling good and to think i almost didn't even come to the gym what the hell what is wrong with you girl an hour and 13 minutes shut the front door and i already have to pee again why and i'm sitting here yapping this is so ghetto i can't believe it's gonna take an hour and 12 minutes to get home but i brought another one of these i had one this morning <laughs> for breakfast these are really good i must start buying them it's still cold too um apple and banana just a little sugar and then i have some popcorn i need something to eat for this ride <laughs> This only has 140 calories, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? It's better than nothing. I wanna go home. I wanna go home. It has not been an hour and 15 minutes. It's been an hour and 30 minutes. I'm not editing this tonight. I'm gonna have to do it tonight. I'm tired. I, I'm literally falling asleep. I'm falling asleep. I don't love it. I've listened to the same sexy red song 12 times. <laughs> I'm home. I had to feed my dog before I could actually eat. And I don't know about you guys, but I can't eat like something like a big meal when I get home from the gym. I don't know. I feel like I need to like, excuse me. I feel like I need to like relax, like shower, kind of unwind. Otherwise, I feel nauseous. So I'm very thirsty. And I also had my oxygen in a can, so I didn't have my creatine today. So I'm going to add creatine and get some protein in with my aqua collagen. And that way it'll help replenish basically all of my electrolytes and everything else. So perfect combo. I definitely need to order some more of this. This is my favorite flavor, the pineapple. It's honestly so refreshing and it tastes just like pineapple um juice it's 20 grams of protein from collagen and in my last vlog yesterday i was telling y'all about my knees and my joints so collagen is great for that especially if you're lifting heavy and then trying to build muscle so creatine is a must i am so drained it's crazy i swear like coming from la and living there for eight years uh the dmv has worse traffic i don't care what anybody says three states come on it's way more traffic than in la so show you guys it does kind of clump a little bit the collagen because collagen so i just use no ice before i blend it and this is like my favorite protein powder because it's literally so hydrating and refreshing I prefer it to the blessed. I love blessed, but this is just so much easier for me to drink. And I've tried the raspberry. That one's really sweet. This one I like a lot better. Personal preference. And honestly, I just throw creatine in whatever I drink to get it in. It doesn't really matter to me. All right, sorry guys. It gets a little clumpy because, well, first of all, I need to change my batteries in this whisk. But that's why I like to drink this right away because you don't really want collagen to be sitting around. The clumps aren't nasty. It's just like a sweeter pocket of powder. I don't like how that looks. Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming. My dog is eating so fast. He looks like he must be bulking too. 
but yeah 20 grams of protein honestly i've been snacking all day except for my i'm gonna show you what i had earlier today but i'm just gonna eat the rest that beef and broccoli it's so easy to get your protein with this my sister drinks this aqua collagen and she does not work out my stepmom too they love this If I could have two of these a day, that's easy 40 grams. How much collagen can you have in a day? But I'm going to go shower and then I'll just show you guys what I'm going to be eating the rest of today. And I'm about to make potatoes. I'm so lazy after the gym. That's my problem. I just, that's why I go out to eat or I'll go to like Chipotle on the way home. But maybe I really resisted the urge. And I want another one. It's so good. Y'all, yeah. it took me an hour to edit a reel. Honestly, I had to cut down 40 seconds to 12 because I really wanted to use this audio with Lotto. And honestly, it looked really good. But I'm feeling like I need to go eat because I have not eaten a proper meal all day long and I burned so many calories. Um, I kind of want some like, I hope I have kombucha because the ginger in the ginger aid usually calms my stomach down. But honestly, I think I just need some pink salt <laughs> and that usually does the trick. So thank God I have some meal prep. I'm just going to heat up what I made earlier this morning. And then I might actually edit this video to post tomorrow because I've been on a roll. I'm excited and I think it's been keeping me accountable with going to the gym. If I wasn't vlogging this today girl i don't think i would have literally gone out the house because i was like no i want to do a vlog today we can't just be at home we got to go out and do our workout and it was like literally one of the best workouts and i'm feeling like today i've motivated myself and i've inspired myself to keep pushing and honestly work on my back summer is in three months and i'm like oh my gosh if we do back twice a week up until summer with my genetics and the way that i can just build my upper body like we will be shredded like my pinterest inspo and I was editing my reel. Why do my biceps look juicy? I did not hit biceps today. And I'm like, dang, we're looking good. So I am just making this to let you guys know that we can be our own inspirations. I don't know if I could play this for you because of the copyright. But I am on Instagram. It's basically all fit girl content. The occasional natural hair post um, thrown into the mix. But I was really proud of this reel. So if you need that daily fitspo on the go, hit me up on Instagram. Do you rap or do you tweet? Cause I can't tell. Get in the booth, bitch. Finding that paper and you have a you know a title now. Right. I'm about to start writing my vows while I'm out here. Y'all, I just feel like sitting down on the floor. <laughs> What's good? It is the next day. And I definitely was not planning on showing you guys this haul because I got more Gymshark in the mail. Y'all already know the saga, but tell me how they... <laughs> t t no, tell me how they are doing an extra 20% off of the already discounted items. So the 60% off friends and family sale with my discount code is an extra 20%. So, I wanted to let you guys know about that. They added a ton of new items to the website. And the thing is, maybe this sale with the extra discount and the sale as a whole does end on the 21st of March, I believe at noon EST. I will put the links and the details down below to all of these items. He was not bothering me until I sat on the floor. Is it because I'm on your level? Excuse me. You be a good boy, I'll give you a treat. But you have to go lay down. Excuse me. He thinks this is for him. But watch this. He has a fear of plastic bags. Oh, you see that? I love the menswear. So I kind of went crazy on the men's items. Yeah. So much cute stuff. I see underwear. I see the underwear. Now I got these in a small, so I'll link everything like I said below. There are a lot of different color options to a lot of these items as well. These are like high, 
high cut and they are made out of cotton so they're very stretchy on this side so these were like ten dollars on the sale body fit style in black they also came in gray and another color and it's a g-string i don't think i would wear these underneath like amplifier like thinner seamless material because for those i prefer like laser cut underwear but underneath like my adapt this would be perfect so i'm not going to try that on in this video you guys i mainly just wanted to show you guys some of the new in items and mainly tell you guys about this sale because that extra 20% gymshark i tell you every time they know how to do a freaking sale like is this black friday because also, why the heck did I order this yesterday? It shipped literally overnight. I did not pay for shipping at all. Excuse me. Be a good boy. I give you a chicken treat. Okay. So, this next item is the men's rest day washed long sleeve t-shirt. It's extreme oversized fit, but I got mine in a large. Because a large is just... It's like my perfect size, honestly. I don't know. This might be too big, but... I was watching Court. She said she got a large. I was like, oh, I like the way that her stuff fits her. Oh, this is so soft. But it's like the heavyweight type of cotton. See that? It has some weight. This is so beautiful. It definitely has like that brown and gray colorway. Oh my god, that would be so cute with my little sweatpants today. This is so nice. Look at the little Gymshark logo. It's brown embroidered i'm trying to use this light so you guys could see better let me know if you guys like this setup i organized my active wear and declutter it uh yeah i filmed a video it'll be coming soon but i wanted to get this one out first i got this same shirt you guys in the black colorway because something told me that i was gonna love it and honestly i would work out i got it as like a workout shirt to wear with like shorts oh this is so cute they're very similar, but you can obviously tell the other one is more brown. I thought these would look good with my Adapt shorts that I'll show you guys. Very similar. Did I need both? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I think this would look really good with like black joggers and this would look really good with like brown. Um, but yeah, in the gym, outside the gym wear, I already know these are going to be great. And they are a new item, but with the additional 20% off discount code leche at checkout oh my god it was so good and i knew i was gonna buy these things eventually so with the sale price i was even more convinced and this is also a men's item oh this comes in a beautiful powdered blue it's in my cart right now i save everything to my wish list because there's so much on this site that it's just easier for me to keep track of the things that i want to keep my eye on but the blue go get that one for spring i definitely want to pick it up now that i have the quality here and it's like really nice really really nice yeah that's cute this one is in the green shade it's also described to have an extreme oversized fit and it's the rest day washed t-shirt and again i got it in a large this one i wanted to wear to the gym as a pump cover and tuck it in the back and I have so many cute adapt shorts. Oh, I love this. It almost has like a blue green wash. It's the same fabric as the last top. And they came out with a lot of shirts like this. This also comes in a wash that looks like this colorway, but it's short sleeved. It's just a basic t-shirt. And I like that the Gymshark logo is tonal. It's this beautiful like aquamarine color super cute again that heavyweight cotton that i love it feels just like my miami men's graphic t-shirt which is the fabric that i personally prefer to work out in i don't like very thin flimsy soft cotton shirts for the gym space this for me is like the perfect material okay next up this came back in stock i remember this came out and i grabbed it around black friday I have this in the black, but they came out with it again in the green. I was like, oh, that's like one of my favorite. Again, heavyweight. It's described as the heavyweight hoodie. It is so durable, you guys. It's like a dark green, almost looks gray, and it's such a good staple. And then the back design is like what gets me. Like, I loved this graphic so much. 
this is so cute this i'm definitely gonna wear to the gym like i mostly got a lot of menswear i just can't be stopped oh these are also menswear i've had my eye on these two for a hot minute they're the global lifting oversized essential pants in the light gray model i love a gray sweatpants and i wanted to wear these this week to upper body i got these in a large because gymshark be shrinking and I'll love it when I first get it, you know, and try it on out of the pack. But you really don't know how it's going to be until you wash it. And I have really long legs. You guys already know the saga. So I can't have stuff shrinking. So I just went up to a large. And it actually doesn't have... Oh, no, it does. Perfect. I thought I didn't have strings. I was like, oh, no. Nah. But it does. It has the draw cord. Really nice. It's like wrapped so it doesn't fray. And, ooh, I like the cuffing, too, of the ankles. I don't like those ankles. A lot of men's joggers will do, like, that thick band at the bottom. No, these are, like, perfect. So that was a nice bit of stretch to them. And I really liked the design down one of the legs. I thought this would be so cute over top of some shorts and, like, an open backless sports bra for back day even for loungewear and I just feel like men's joggers are really good as long as they're not the skinny fit because I like oversized so I'm definitely gonna have to try these on I just would not recommend putting your joggers from them in the dryer um, and if you're worried about it just go up a size and then for reference I always get asked about the men's sizing because I do a lot of like hauls and I'll get men's wear I personally feel like if you're a women's small, you can get a men's small and it'll fit you the same. And if you want that oversized fit and you're a women's small, I would say go for the men's medium. I know. I know. I gotta brush your teeth. We gotta brush your teeth today. So that's how I would recommend for the sizing of the bottoms, the hoodies, the t-shirts, the mesh shorts. Ooh, your breath hot yeah you want to know what we got you want to know what we got let's see we have the ribbon of oh, the ribs cotton seamless shorts remember i got these in the last haul and i was obsessed so i grabbed them in the black i did see them come back with these in the blue i have the matching tank i highly recommend that combo you guys it is so cute for in the house and now that it's like warming up outside these are like literally perfect you can't even really see the branding and that's why i love like these little incognito pieces because if you know you know and they are so comfortable again like for these they're very delicate so i did not put mine in the dryer i hang dry them and i would recommend you guys do the same just to keep them nice quality and then a couple more pieces and then i'll be done i got the adapt pattern crop top guys i bought every color i got the green the black the blue the pink and the brown and i was like baby we need to get the black because that's such a staple and it's all i've been wearing to the gym specifically the crop tops i don't really love the bras honestly i don't really recommend them i don't like adapt bras i love this this had me looking snatched i was recording in the gym i was looking back at footage it was giving shape it was giving body you guys were commenting saying how you didn't even think about getting these when you saw them on the website but when you saw them in the vlogs you were like oh i need to get it yeah it looks so much better in person and the black is definitely the most low-key um colorway it is printed but i feel like i'll be able to wear this like every week to the gym if i wanted and no one's gonna check me like girl didn't you just wear that yesterday mind your business because i will and then i just got the shorts to match that was in a medium i wear medium in the shorts too i haven't tried the leggings but it definitely makes me want to try the leggings because of the scrunch like gymshark has been improving their stuff so much I'm going to need them to continue with this scrunch in all the other collections. Like, they need to come out with this design with this updated scrunch in solid colors because once they do, like, that'll be the best range that they have for working out. And I do heavy legs in these. I've worn these for upper body. I work out and do cardio. So I don't get the chafing. My only thing for you guys when it comes to sizing in the Adapt is to size up one size because for me personally i'll wear a small in amplify 
but I'll have to size up to a medium for these to fit me and I don't have to adjust these they don't roll up on me and the waistband stays put he must have to go O-U-T, y'all. So I gotta go tend to him. But I definitely wanted to check in with you guys and wrap up this vlog today with something exciting. I do need to try it on, though, but I don't know if I have time because I want to get this vlog out so you guys have time to browse. You're sitting on my shirt. Excuse me. Excuse me. Stinky. You stinky booty. You stinky booty. Um, I do want to try some of these on though. I gotta hurry up. I mean, it's not leggings. It shouldn't take me long. Y'all saw these shorts already. And y'all already know what the Adapt set looks like. And also this hoodie too. Um, my joggers that I had told you guys about, I got tracking already from Selfridges. It's coming on Friday. So I can't wait to get into that because... I'm just in my Gymshark era. All right, let me hurry up because my, my dog needs some attention. <laughs> I gotta give him some attention. It's not even time for him to eat. He got 30 minutes. I love this color. Yo, this with the... Shoot, I'm like losing everything. This... Where are they? <laughs> this <laughs> with the Adapt Shorts. This is what I wanted to wear. It's giving spring, like for legs. Ooh, I might wear that. Tomorrow's leg day. I had to take off from the gym, y'all, because the back... Don't play with me. The back is sore as fuck. Okay. And my legs are still sore from my last leg day. Oh, my gosh. I need this in more colors. First of all, I would never in my life wear it like this. But please, don't be afraid to get a large if you're a woman small. So, I love the long sleeves. Even just with, like, joggers, you can tell. It's just, like, a vibe. Tuck it in the back. Y'all gonna see me in this this week. It's, like, soft, but it has some weight to it. Like, this is soft enough to wear to bed. But it's also durable enough to wear in the gym. And not feel like the collar is gonna stretch out because the material is so soft. Does that make sense? I feel like the men's... Is it the training t-shirts? Those are too soft and the neckline stretches out and I'm not a fan of that personally. So I will be definitely ordering some more of these because I don't really have long sleeve tops either. So I'm definitely going to get the blue one. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is the shirt. It's the wash for me. It pairs well with black. It's the same fit as the... Actually, it might be a little longer. It's the same fit and feel as the green, just long sleeve. Oh my gosh, I love when the sleeves give me that Ariana Grande vibe. This is my, yo, for lounging and sleeping. Even with like these shorts, the cotton ribbed, the brown ones I have. It's versatile, we love Gymshark. I'm not gonna try these undies on, but I will let you guys know, $12 for a pair of undies that's kind of expensive but underwear like at skims like that's overpriced I love all these freaking shirts y'all oh this is okay this is giving me hunting season <laughs> I live in Virginia so there's a lot of hunting gear out here but I low-key kind of mess with it I kind of like it because it's giving like that acidy. It doesn't even really look acid wash. It just looks like a hot tincture. <laughs> but I mess with it. Again, this with like the adapt shorts, I think would also be a really cute leg day outfit. And I'm mostly trying to get into these joggers so I can tell you girls about the fit. I can probably just assume <laughs> that they might shrink. They also came in black. If I like them, I'll get the brown ones too. The brown ones really calling my name. These are soft. They're softer than the rest day. But they are also terry in the inside like the rest day. So it doesn't have the fleece. Which is good for working out. See, this is baggy. This is going to shrink a little bit. So I'm actually happy I went with the large. You can see it's more baggy. 
that's just how I personally prefer it. Like, if it stayed this way after washing, this is a sick design. If it stayed this way, of course I would love it because that's how I like it when I try my stuff on. But just assume it's going to shrink. So if you're worried about it, you're taller girl, whatever, you want to bag your fit, size up. I honestly maybe would even consider getting myself an extra large. I now wear extra large in the women's rest day because after washing, for some reason, they all shrink on me. And that's just how those fit and that's how they wash. Not even putting in the dryer. So just size up. These are really comfortable. Like, I really like these a lot. And I feel like you can't even really... This is chaotic. Yeah, see, men's joggers fit tighter in the booty cheeks. So, if you don't want them to hug you, size up. But the length, perfect. I honestly would wear this, too. <laughs> like, run errands. I like it. I love these. The collar, really quickly, is ribbed, so it has structure. This is not going to stretch out and look wonky, even if you size up. Ooh, you could really see the print. So I really like how they did this, and the way that it's stitched is really nice. Ooh. Because what was the reason to mess on my edges like that? It's very snug around the neck. So. But once it's on, it looks really good. It's definitely like a heavyweight material. Kind of stiff, but it kind of hugs you. That's why I like this would have been better in extra large. I don't know. It has a big hood though. You could definitely skip out on these if you don't want something really heavy duty and thick. But for winter, I know I love these and I lived in mine. So I wanted to pick it up in another um, colorway. Very simple branding on the front. Again, the branding for this design is really all in the back. And it goes really well with just like sweatpants. I've been doing like more daily vlogs so let me know how you guys are feeling that because I'm feeling really inspired with starting my fitness journey all over again that I just feel like I want to hang out with you guys all the time. A huge thank you to any of you guys that do choose to support me and use my discount codes at Gymshark or even EHP Labs because it really does help me out and helps me with my YouTube so that I am able to pick up more pieces from them review them for you guys, let you know what I think about the quality, the sizing, and the fit, and the material, and if it's really worth it, or if you can just skip out on it. But if you're out here like me, and you're trying to revamp your active wear, then I honestly recommend picking up those things that you know that you've had your eye on, because the prices are really good, and like I said, the new items that just came out that I have here are also discounted with that additional 20% off, which literally like I said is a Black Friday because I don't even know <laughs> I don't even know but on that note I'm gonna go I'm gonna head out and I will see you girls next time bye